Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys about how to train um, and how to build muscle on your chest. And um, in this video, this is good for both men and women both. I'm gonna go, go through the anatomy of the chest. I'm gonna tell you guys which exercises to do, how to do them, uh, and the different variations as well. All right guys, let's get into it. Okay guys, when it comes to training chest, um, uh, it's, a, it's a very uh, important muscle group. It's a big muscle group in the body. It's uh, one of the big three, which are chest, back and legs. Um, training chest uh, leads to a lot of good benefits for your body. And you need the chest in terms of pushing and in terms of uh, bringing your arms together and back. So that's one of the, that's two of the, that, those are two of the functions of the chest. Uh, when it comes to the chest, the anatomy is broken down into ex essentially uh, three sections going up uh, uh, vertically and then three sections going horizontally. So vertically, there's the upper chest, the middle chest and the lower chest. Horizontally, there is the inner chest, the middle chest and the outer chest. The way you train these uh, different uh, parts of the chest are different because you've used different exercises and, and different uh, variations of them as well. To begin, I'm going to explain to you guys how to train the middle chest because that's actually the biggest area and it's the meat and potatoes of the chest muscle. So with regard to training the middle chest, um, it's all, all about your pushing exercises like your bench press um, and, um, and your push-ups and etc. Um, to train the middle chest, you essentially want to be moving your hands and your bar if you're lying on the floor in a vertical fashion directly to your chest line. So like this. Alright guys, so like this basically. Not like this, sorry, like this. Okay guys? So um, imagine if I was flat on the floor, it would be like something like this, all right? Um, or a push up in that direction. Essentially what that does is it, it, uh, it, it directs the blood flow and breaks down the muscle tissue in this part of the chest uh, and, and, and helps you build muscle after you eat and recover. To train the upper chest, you want to be doing movements in the inclined uh, range of motion. What that means is you want to be at a slight angle. Um, either 30 to, if you're sitting on a bench, it should be either 30 to 45 degree angle um, uh, nothing, nothing too crazy, uh, but essentially you want to be at an angle where you're training the upper portion of the chest. To train the lower portion of the chest, you want to be doing the exact opposite. You want to be training the decline angle, uh, which is again at a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a slant. So you want to uh, be able to incorporate all of these, all of these movements uh, when it comes to your chest training. Now, there's uh, different ways to target the inner, outer and the middle chest when it comes to the width. Um, so basically, any kind of pushing exercise tar targets the thickness of the chest, which means it makes the chest grow outwards. Uh, any kind of fly exercise makes the chest grow wider. So essentially, you want to be able to, uh, to play around with these movements to be able to get the best bang for your buck. So uh, for again, to summarize, for the uh, upper, lower and middle, uh, you want to be doing uh, incline, uh, decline for the lower, and then middle, uh, you do flat. Um, in the push-ups or bench press to be able to grow the thickness of the chest. Now to grow the width of the chest, you want to be doing flies. So flies like this with the cable machine or dumbbells um, are extremely good for you. Again, same principles apply. If you want to work the width of the upper part of your chest, you want to be doing incline flies. If you want to work the width of the middle part of your chest, you want to be doing um, flat flies. If you want to work the width of the lower part of your chest, you want to be working decline flies. All right, guys, so you got it. So basically, it's just the three planes of uh, where you attack the chest from, and then the, then, then the two different kinds of movements which target each different type. Now, for the inner chest, it's a bit of a special area because it's very difficult to target that area particularly. Generally, when you do any exercise for your chest, it, 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 it pretty much works the entire muscle, but it just, uh, depending on the variation of the incline, the decline, and the, and the exercise selection, it specializes in a particular area, but that doesn't mean the other areas aren't getting worked. However, for the however for the inner chest, it's a bit difficult to do to target the inner chest. What you're gonna do is essentially bring your arms close together. So when I when I mean by bring your arms close together, what I mean is there are different ways you can grip the bar. So for the bar, if you grip it in a in a in a, in a medium width, it'll work generally the en entire portion. If you work in a, in, a, in, a, in a wide width, it'll work the wider portion of the chest. So if you if you're doing a flat bench press and you're doing and you're holding on a wide width, okay, you will be working the middle portion of your chest, but the outer part of the middle portion of your chest and working the thickness of that. Do you get that? It's, it's a bit confusing at the beginning, but once you get once you do the movements, you'll you'll be able to figure this out. Um, so if you want to work, then if you want to work the uh, the inner portion 
off the uh, middle part of the chest you want to be doing a flat bench press and you want to work the thickness you want to be doing the flat bench press but keeping your arms closer together so like this so it's basically called a close grip bench press it also works your triceps a bit uh, in fact all push movements work your triceps and your shoulders but you essentially want to be doing um, uh, if you want to work the inner chest you want to be doing it like that if you want to work the inner portion of your upper chest you want to be doing uh, you want to be keeping the keeping your grip close and then doing that at an incline if you want to work the inner portion of the bottom part of your chest you want to be keeping your grip close and you want to be working the decline so basically guys that's about that's about chest training it that i mean that's basically it about chest training you got to be able to be flexible and be adaptable how do you program this um, there are different ways I, I i i teach them to my coaching clients who want to train for marathons ironmans and and fat loss as well but uh, what what i would incorporate for someone general who, who who just wants to get some advice is incorporate uh, five or six core movements number one would be a flat bench press either with dumbbells or with barbells because that work that's a meat and potatoes of your exercises number two would be an incline uh incline bench press or an incline dumbbell press because that works the upper part of your chest and number three would be a, a fly movement uh, i would say a flat uh, flat fly or an incline fly and then number four would be some kind of decline movement um, which is like a decline bench press or even dips um, now this is something i want to touch on dips if you do dips which are basically an exercise where you go like that uh, they uh, work your um, lower chest and your triceps but you have to bend forward in order for them to work your lower chest let's summarize it all together flat bench press incline bench press flat or incline flies decline bench press and then dips all right guys i mean that's basically it about the chest and if you want to train for a specific um uh, for a specific reason like if you want to train for muscle gain or strength or if you want to train for fat loss or for endurance there are different rep ranges you're training so for, if you train from a zero to four rep range that's generally training for strength those are people who want to do power lifting or just want to get stronger in their chest or even you can even go up to six from between i i, I guess between six to twelve or i guess eight to twelve reps you're training for hypertrophy hypertrophy training is basically when you are training to grow the muscle in size so what i mean what i mean by 8 to 12 reps is that um, you essentially are failing or like failing means you you cannot lift another rep for that weight on uh, the a, uh, on between 8 to 12 reps all right guys so there's a bit of variability but that's essentially how it works how the science works um, if you're training more than 12 reps that's generally training for endurance now there's a whole myth that high reps build um, uh, lose fat and, and, uh, and lower reps build muscle but that's that's essentially untrue because high reps don't necessarily re reduce fat they essentially increase the endurance of the muscle so when i was training for marathons and doing ironmans i was doing a lot of high rep work at the moment now i'm doing a bit more hypertrophy work because i just want to focus on some other goals but essentially that's how it works and you want to be able to keep sure make sure that you are in line with what you're doing if you don't if you're just training for general purposes or aesthetic looks i would say go for hypertrophy and mix that in with a little bit of strength and a bit of endurance work as well again guys this is just for the chest muscle i will be covering all the other muscle groups later on in in future videos uh if you have a specific question on the chest muscle or a specific question in general about health health, health and fitness please do leave them in the comments below guys thank you so much for watching and do subscribe uh, if you haven't already i would really appreciate it uh, and I, that allows me to keep putting more uh, informational videos for you guys and uh, giving you guys the best information possible um this is through my over t like 10 plus years of experience uh you know working out and being fit and running a marathon on seven continents doing an iron man etc uh, i just want to give you guys the best information possible so you can go after your fitness goals and and other audacious goals as well because when you're fit you can do so much more with your life um all, all right guys